Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of luxury makeup, just testing new products out, sitting down, applying some makeup on camera. So if you wanna see what products I'm getting into, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. I have a number of luxury products that I've been waiting to try out and I've accumulated for the most part a full face, a few items missing here and there. But I also have a lot of items from Octoly that I've collected and they were luxury products. So I'm just gonna try them all in this video. I just had a battle with a friend here, so <laughs> ignore that. Uh, but we're gonna get started. So the first item is the Laneige Cream Skin Mist. So this is made from normal to dry skin and it's a fine mist spray that is supposed to hydrate your face when your skin feels dry. I really love Laneige skincare so I was really excited to try this. I did get this one from Octoly and it says for a tip you can actually mix this with foundation as well for a hydrated glowing finish. I'm gonna do it right now on my bare skin so ooh, nice mist. I'm really excited about this one. I just love Laneige skincare. They are a Korean skincare brand and all of their stuff that I've tried, I really do enjoy. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up when I saw it in the Octoly store. I mean, it is just a mist, but it does feel a little bit hydrating. I do want to give it just a little bit more time to dry down on the skin, but I definitely have high hopes for this. And this sounds like something that I definitely am going to enjoy. And from what I can tell, my skin does feel even a little bit more moisturized right now. So if you have normal to dry skin, this is something really Really cool to look into. Now for foundation. Now I've tried this foundation before but I actually wanted to get it in a new color because I feel like the one I bought was expired. I felt like it was such a weird texture. The oil and the color itself separated. So I saw this on the Octoly store as well. This is the YSL Touche Clot All-in-One Glow. I figured that I would try this one out to see if mine was just a bad batch or if that's actually the consistency of the product. I actually already do know though that I do like this foundation. It's almost like more of a tinted moisturizer. It gives you a really nice fresh skin look. But yeah, this is the shade B40 and I really do believe that the one that I have in my collection is expired or something. So I'm really happy that I'm testing this one out today because that was the main purpose because I really like the Touche Clot All-in-One Glow. But I always felt a little bit weird because I felt like the product itself was separated. Like I had bought an expired one. And I can tell you right now that this one is not like that at all. It's a little bit too deep for me though. I bought my original one in the summer and obviously have no color to me right now. So this is a bit too tan on me. I guess we're gonna go tan today, but this is my summer color. So I will be using this more so in the summer, but I did wanna give this a quick go. So as you can see, it just gives a really nice, light, natural coverage, a light glow to the skin. I love this foundation for the summer. It is perfect. It has sunscreen in it and I have a fresh one now, which I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna throw away my old one because that one was not a good formula. This one is nice and solid. So very happy about this. Now I have this Lila B Virtuous Veil Concealer and Eye Primer. It's very interesting packaging, very heavy and luxurious feeling. It's like this stone packaging. This concealer, I don't know if it's gonna be my color, but we're gonna use it anyway. So you're supposed to be able to use this as both an eye primer and concealer. So I'm going to use my sponge to put this on. Ooh, that's actually a really good color. That looks really pretty. I'm sure you're probably supposed to use your finger to apply this, but I'm really liking how this applies underneath the eyes with the sponge. I'm gonna put it all over my lid as well. And this color is in the shade Be Present. And I really like this color for me. It's not too light on my skin, but it also still gives pretty good coverage. Like this is a nice medium coverage. It looks really smooth on the under eyes. It still looks very natural. Ooh, I've never tried Lila B before. I'm new to Lila B. I have a few other things that I'm going to try from them. I'm liking the way that this is applying with a sponge and it's doing good as a spot concealer as well. Wow. Okay. Take a closer look at this. 
I really, really like this concealer so far. Okay, Lila B, that's awesome. Obviously, I have to continue playing and see how this wears, but so far, I'm really liking how this is looking. I'm going to quickly throw on some brows. So eyebrows are on. I'm quickly going to set my face. This is not luxury, but I'm gonna use my Nabla Smoothing Press Powder. I really have been loving this. This was on my monkey favorites. I'm just gonna use a light amount of powder underneath my eyes and in the center of my face. Moving on to bronzer now. I have a new bronzer. I have tried this before a long time ago. I don't really remember what I think of it, but this is the Tom Ford Tara bronzer. So I've tried this because my mom has a mini one in her collection. They had this guy on sale for, I believe it was almost $40. This is originally $112. So I picked up one of my own. Always, always, always keep an eye out on Saks Off Fifth for Tom Ford. They've had some quads that they've been putting in and out. They've also had some powders, some blushes. So they've been adding and taking away items. So take a look, they've had really good sales. Now, I believe this is more than $40 now because I got it for an additional 20% off. But this bronzer is originally 112 and most of their sales have been over 50% off. This isn't a new product by any means to the market and I have tried this in the past, but now I have my own full size. So let me quickly just brush this on. I'm using a rougher number five brush to apply this. I love this brush because you have a lot of control with it. But it still covers a lot of surface area. Ooh, that's a good bronzer. I look nice and tan. It's a really great undertone. I don't have to build it up too much, but it also doesn't apply too much color. Yeah, I did remember definitely liking this bronzer. It's just been a while. That's really pretty. So if you've been interested in this bronzer, if it's still available, look on Saks Off Fifth. I will link it down below. Got this for $40. $40, originally $112. You get a ton of product in here. Super pretty. So let's move on to eyeshadow now. There's a couple different options that I wanted to play with. I have the new Tom Ford First Frost palette and then my Dior Quint that came completely shattered in my Sephora haul. I got a new one sent to me and this one's gorgeous topes. But I do think I want to try the Tom Ford because I had a lot of you guys asking my thoughts on this and I completely forgot about it, honestly. So this is the Tom Ford First Frost eyeshadow quad. This is one of his now, I believe, two holiday quads that he's released. So this one came out first and then he came out with the second one. I rarely buy Tom Ford quads at full price. I know a lot of you guys always tag me in his new releases, but I don't know. I really do have a problem with spending $88 on a quad just in one shot, but I do think his formula is beautiful and I really, really love the colors of this. So this is one of the few quads that I've paid full price for. It just looks so scrumptious. So let me swatch this for you guys. Now, a lot of you guys are saying it looks very similar to Soleil Neige from last year. And I don't know, this looks so much more different to me. It looks cooler. It has taupe colors and there's a peach in the Soleil Neige from last year. I just don't think they're that similar in my opinion. Let's go ahead and give this a go. Make sure my primer is all blended out on my eyelid. Again, I have that Lila B concealer and eye primer product. And we hmm, are gonna start off with this shade right here. I'm going to put this in my crease. I'm just gonna do simple techniques that I typically do with these Tom Ford quads because I find they usually work and look the best when you apply them in these areas that I'm doing. This is his wet to dry formula. So you can use these shadows wet as well for higher impact. And I like his wet to dry formula because they still look really good all over the eyelid even if there isn't any matte in here you can still use these shimmer shades as mattes they blend out beautifully so this shade is a little bit more glittery and shiny than I would prefer to use as a crease shade so I don't necessarily recommend it for that but it did apply a good cast so now we're gonna go into the deep shade right here I'm using a Luxie 229 brush by the way and this guy is just gonna go in the outer corner and we're gonna blend her out See, this is why I love Tom Ford shadows. You saw how beautiful and pigmented that was and how easy it is blending out. I'm sure you can build it up even more if you want it to look really deep and chocolatey and brown. I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line as well. This quad definitely pulls cooler on the eyes than you would think. And I'm gonna use my Tom Ford number 11 brush. And we're going in with this gorgeous light pink shade. 
Oh, I love this shade. This is the stunner of the palette. It almost gives the eye a really wet glazed look if you can see really gorgeous this is why i love tom ford shadows they're so sophisticated they're so soft looking really does take that special eye to see what is so different about these shadows i love this shade this is my favorite shade in this quad so far that's so pretty it instantly opens up your eyes it makes everything glow and i can only imagine if i had a wet brush and i use this shadow wet it would really get an intense metallic look but i really like the look of this as a soft glow glaze all over the eye and I'm gonna just use the lightest shade with my refer brush and I'm going to apply this to the inner corners. So my overall thoughts about this quad so far, I really love it. I love this really light glazed look that I have on today. I think it is so stunning. I don't think it's going to be everybody's cup of tea. As you can see, it is going to give you a lighter eye. I'm loving it. I'm vibing with it. I'm not finished with this quad because I don't want to do harsh eyeliner. So I'm going to take my Isom T05. It's a flat definer brush. I'm going to wet it and then I'm going to go into the deepest shade in the Tom Ford palette and I'm going to quickly line my eyes. So I am going to end up using the shadow wet today as a liner brush. And you can see how much more intensity this color has when you use your brush wet. I just have to say, how pretty did that color make as a metallic brown liner? So pretty. So I don't have a new blush today. So I'm going to use my Shantikai Bliss blush. This is just a really soft, subtle pink, which I think is going to look gorgeous with the eye look. Mm, I love this blush. Such a good formula. Just blends onto the skin. And then for highlight, a lot of you guys have been asking me. I can't believe I haven't gotten to try it yet, but the Pat McGraw skin fetish sublime skin highlighter came this is a luxury highlighter so we paid a lot of money like $60 for this highlighter but you are getting a luxury experience with this this thing feels like it weighs five pounds you have to twist it off and then you get this gorgeous pink highlighter here's the swatch of that and i feel like it's gonna blend beautifully into the pink blush and it's gonna go really good with the eyes i don't know if you guys would still be interested in a luxury highlighter video of all of the new highlighters that have come out recently like the dior the natasha denona this pat mcgrath the charlotte tilbury kind of like a showdown of all of those but this is really gorgeous it's not as metallic as i was expecting it to be because it's pat mcgrath i thought she would go crazy with the metallic but it's actually quite quite subtle, really pretty. I don't see a cast on my face, but it's also not emphasizing texture. Oh, that's really pretty. It's a lot softer than I was expecting. There still is that glow. Okay, this is really pretty. I don't know if it stands out out of all of the new highlighters that have come out but i'm certainly not going to say it's not gorgeous because i really do love the finish on my skin so yay finally got to try this one out i've been waiting to try it out okay get in here towards the very end before i sneak away and put on some falsies i did want to try a new mascara i have a lot of mascara samples in my drawer of samples so i figured for this video i would try out the charlotte tilbury full fat lashes i have never tried a Charlotte Tilbury mascara before so I'm gonna quickly throw this on okay so I definitely am not overly impressed I think it gave my lashes more of a natural look but I have really straight thin sparse lashes so I'm not the best judge of that and also this is a sample so sometimes samples aren't as good as the full size but I'm not overly impressed with it anyways I'm gonna put on some falsies and then I'll be back and we'll finish the lips. So lashes are on. I use my monthly favorites, Base Blue Cosmetics Treepy Lashes. I love these for natural but glam looks. For lips, this is the last Octoly product. Sometimes Pat McGrath shows up on there. By the way, if you don't know what Octoly is, basically if you're an influencer, you have some sort of following, you can pick items that you want to receive and then you have to talk about them. But obviously you can say whatever you want. So Pat McGrath had her lip fetish divinal lip show shines on there and Pat McGrath stuff is on there occasionally. It usually is only there for a day so I had to scoop one up because I've never tried this formula before. I ended up getting the shade Temptress. All of the really bright garish colors were the only ones available so I don't even know if this color is going to go with the look but whatever let's try it out. 
mm, really smooth, very moisturizing. Probably should have put a lip liner on. I mean, you know what though? This is a really pretty color to add some color to your face. It's not bad for this look, this is really pretty. I like this formula, it's a nice high shine moisturizing formula, but if you get one with a lot of color like I do, I would definitely suggest using a lip liner because it can get messy fast. Here's the final look with everything. I really like it. It's just a really fresh, eye-opening kind of look. So let's quickly go over all of the products, my final thoughts, more so first impressions. Starting off with the Laneige Cream Skin Mist. So far, I think I like it. I'm definitely gonna have to use this a few more times, but I really do think instantly this did kind of leave my dry skin feeling a lot more hydrated. So if you have normal to dry skin, this could kind of be a quick, easy fix before you apply makeup. And I'd be very interested to see how this mixes with foundation as well. But I'm really, really excited about this product. I have very high hopes for this. I think I'm gonna end up liking it a lot. The Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow from YSL. I can confirm. The one that I've been using is old. It's not a weird separated formula. So I'm happy to have a fresh one. And the only reason I was confused about that was because when I had bought it from Sephora, it was that weird separated way. So I was never sure if it was supposed to be that way. I can now confirm it is not, uh, but it still is the beautiful lightweight light coverage formula that I absolutely love. B40 is not my color except for in the summer but highly recommend this if you like a really lightweight coverage. For concealer today, I used the Lila B Virtuous Veil Concealer and Eye Primer. I don't think I love this for eye primer or for under eye concealer. I do think it is a bit too thick. I did notice my eyes creasing just a little bit, but I really, really like this as a spot concealer. I feel like it blends into the skin beautifully. It gives just enough coverage, but doesn't look like you're trying to cover acne. So I do think I do prefer this as a spot concealer. I think it's really gorgeous. Under eyes, I think it's just a bit too thick for my liking. The Tom Ford Terra Bronzer. I really like this bronzer a lot. I think it blended beautifully onto the skin. It definitely runs warm, but it still has more of a neutral undertone to it. It's going to work for a lot of different skin tones. They do have another color on Saks Off Fifth as well, but I did like that I didn't have to build up the color too much, but it also wasn't too pigmented. I used the Tom Ford First frost. I definitely do think I would feel more complete with a nice matte chocolate brown in my crease to make everything really dark and defined. However, I think I'm going to really love this quad just using these colors as individual washes all over the lid. I think every single one, if you just put it all over the lid, is going to give a gorgeous ethereal glowy look. And even this look, I really, really like it. It's just a bit lighter than I was expecting. The glow that this gives, the finish that this gives to the eyes, it's just so sophisticated and I'm really in love with the pinky shade. So I do really, really like this quad. I definitely want to give it a thumbs up. I don't think it's the best Tom Ford quad that I've tried, but as far as one and done single wash eyeshadows, I can see myself reaching for this quad a lot. I also use the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter finally. And I think it is gorgeous. I think packaging is so luxurious. The finish is stunning on the skin. I haven't quite decided yet if I think it is worth the money. It's a little bit more soft than I was expecting, but it is quite smoothing on the skin. It really does seamlessly blend into the skin as well. It really just melts in. I do want to use it a few more times before I can tell you whether or not I do think it's worth the hefty price tag, but the packaging, incredible. Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes, like I said, I'm not the best guinea pig for this. It did seem to build up a lot better than my first layer, but I'm not overly impressed with the sample. And then finally, the Pat McGrath Labs Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine. This is my first time trying this formula. It's a really beautiful moisturizing formula. Just use a lip liner and I'm impressed with the pigmentation. I'm impressed with this color. Definitely surprised. I was kind of scared of this color at first, but I think it's really beautiful. So I'm very happy with this. So guys, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just loved being able to sit down and play with some luxury makeup with you guys and just use some products that I've been wanting to use for a while. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.